Hi everybody, I'm Alexei Pajitnik. Ten years ago, I invented a game called Tetris. Tetris Forever released on November 12, 2024 on all gaming platforms. And the narcissist in me is sure that all of you wanted this guy's opinion on it. Right? Right. So here's your answer to this burning question. Maybe. No, this is not a cop-out answer. I promise you if I had a definitive answer, I'd tell you right off the bat. So the reason I'm not is because I believe that it really depends on the audience. Now, since this is a Tetris-centric channel, you would think that it would tell everybody who subscribed to this channel that, as a Tetris fan, yes, you should buy this game. Also, if you're not subscribed to this channel, please like and subscribe. I'll tell you right now, there is definitely an audience who is not going to like this game. But, there's also an audience that will love this game. Let me quickly run down which audiences I think this game are and aren't for. This channel mostly provides information on online competitive Tetris play. Just to spin! And while many of the games in this collection do have a versus option, they're restricted to local play, bar, you know, PlayStation, share play, and Steam remote play. There's no online matchmaking, rankings, or anything of the sort. Also, my opinion on the new Time Warp game mode is mixed. In all honesty, the mechanics feel a little bit half-baked, and in my opinion, not having online ranked play is a major miss. I don't know about the rest of you, but as a guy in my 40s, the last time I had people come over to play two-player games was like 30 years ago. And even now, if I could manage to drag a friend away from their wife and or kids, the skill difference between us means that I'd be curb-stopping them over and over, which really is no fun for anybody. If you're looking for a game with a competitive online multiplayer, this game is absolutely not for you. Just stick to the ones that are already out there. They're all great. Now I'm sure many of you are also simply just big fans of Tetris period. And to you, I can resoundingly say, maybe. I assume a good chunk of you Tetris fans are either into modern Tetris games, washing machine, NES Tetris, and maybe a few TGM type games. This collection doesn't really cater to any of those tastes. Even the 1989 Game Boy mode in Time Warp is also mixed. But Famicom Tetris with remap control aside, to those of you looking for modern Tetris, NES Tetris, or TGM Tetris type games, you're best to just stick with the other Tetris games. So, who do I think this game is for? My opinion is that this game is made for retro gamer aficionados. And to those folks, I would say you'll love this game. Sounds a little bit niche? Oh, it definitely oh. is. The cornerstone of this game is the interactive documentary, of which many of it includes a direct interview with the man himself, Alexei Pajitnov. Hearing him, along with the likes of Hank Rogers and Gilman Louis, talk about the development of Tetris uh, with such excitement and joy brings a big smile to my face. Pair that with all the cool historical background of how difficult distributing this game was under the Russian Iron Curtain, all while peppering in the emulated versions of the game over time, it really feels like you have your own Tetris museum at home. Yes, the emulations aren't perfect, you know, keys spinning in electronic of Tetris, and the ROM system that's built in the game itself is not particularly complex. But there's a joy and a care put into this package to tell the story of how Tetris was made and spread all over the world. And come on, that Tetris blazer Alexei is sporting in the interview is just straight fire. Despite its simplicity, Tetris has a deep lore behind it, and that lore is worth telling. This collection does a great job of telling that story, providing hours of well-curated content. If you're just looking to play Tetris, this game may not be for you. But if you love historical storytelling sprinkled with some fantastic retro games, Hatches is fire, and Bombless has been my jam for nearly 30 years. This game is literally gives you your own personal gaming museum with hours of exhibits to enjoy. This has been my TED Talk. Thanks for watching.